Hey, what's ground, Nassau? Nassau ground? Yes, ground. We'd like permission to tow the oldest line F-15 in the world from the NASA ramp to base ops for the 50th anniversary of the F-15 Eagle, tail number 740141. NASA tow, tow approved, advising complete. Roger, copy, will advise when complete. So, actually, the first flight for the F-15 happened here at Edwards 50 years ago today. And then, over the next couple of years, it did the developmental testing. At that point, as it started to deploy, the first production Eagles were delivered to combat units starting in 1976. Developmental testing on upgrades started almost immediately. In fact, a whole overhaul project was started in 1983, tested in parts here at Edwards. It's the great thing about a legacy like the Eagles. 50 years, it has been in many ways the visible symbol of the Air Force. Edwards has always had a home for the Eagle and we're just happy to get to celebrate this milestone here. Uh, we appreciate NASA bringing out such a storied aircraft that we get to celebrate with. So the airplane behind me is a uh, NASA 836. Uh, it, it is uh, the oldest F-15 on the, on the planet today. Uh, came to NASA in 1993, so we've had it, in all, for, had it for almost 30 years. Um, and it had, a, it had a pretty good history before us. Uh, it started its life in 1974, so it's 48 years old as it sits there right now. So this airplane's been used historically for high-speed research of, of anything supersonic. So this will fly up to Mach 2.5, and we, we routinely take it to Mach 2. Uh, we have several fixtures on the outside of the airplane. What we've been researching is uh, air data systems and, and uh, air uh, measurement systems of that kind. So a new pitot tube, a new sensor, a new static port, a new any kind of sensor that needs to go uh, high supersonic. We mount it on a pylon on, on the center line of the airplane and take it out uh, to various flight conditions. What you get is an airplane that's a thousand pounds lighter than every other F-15 on the planet and it, with the most current engines in it. So this is a hot rod. It's, the, it's probably the fastest F-15 out there. Uh, we can take two F-15s and uh, you know, one that's 10 years newer or even 20 years newer and this will leave it in the dust. Uh, every single time. You just cannot keep up with it with anything we have. It's that fast. So it's a great research uh, platform for NASA. Uh, it doesn't have the avionics, but if you need something to go fast, it'll go fast.